In this video, we will study recursive formulas for arithmetic sequences. In a previous lesson, we have studied sequences, and we know that a sequence is simply a function whose domain is the counting numbers. In other words, it's a progression of, number that, of numbers that usually follows a pretty distinct rule. An arithmetic sequence is a special kind of sequence that has a very specific kind of a rule. Let's begin by defining an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence with a constant difference between successive terms. In other words, the next term is found by adding something to the previous term. So with an arithmetic sequence, to find the next term, you're simply going to add something to the term that you're on, and that'll give you the next term. Examples of arithmetic sequences can be found in the real world in many places. One place that you can find arithmetic sequences is in recommended mileage for oil changes. A certain kind of car might recommend, for instance, oil changes, an oil change after the first 1,000 miles. Then, they might recommend oil changes each 3,000 miles thereafter. So then 3,000 later, miles later would be 4,000 miles. 3,000 miles later would be 7,000, then 10,000, then 13,000, then 16,000, etc. A quick glance at this sequence reveals that to generate each term after the one that you're on, you simply add 3,000. That's what this means. The next term, the term that follows in the sequence, can be found by adding something to the previous term. In this case, we're adding 3,000. In the past, we've studied recursive formulas, and this is what the recursive formula for this arithmetic sequence would look like. Recursive formulas require two different parts. First, you must define the first term or term. Remember that A, in this case, would be the name of the sequence. And the subscript tells you which term that we're on. So this tells us that the first term in the sequence A is 1,000, which is confirmed right here. We're noticing that that first term, the first number in the sequence, is 1,000. Now we want to be able to generate any other arbitrary term. To show any term, we use a variable for this subscript. That's the nth term. So to generate the nth term, here's what we do. We find the term that comes before the nth term. Remember that n minus 1 is simply the number that comes before n. So if we're generating the nth term, the term that comes before is the n minus first term. And to generate this term, we're going to take the previous term and add 3,000. And this works for all integers where n is greater than or equal to 2. In other words, this is our n. This has to be 2 or greater. We can't use this formula to generate the first term. The first term is here. This formula works only for the second term and above. We've seen recursive formulas before. What we're looking at now is a specific kind of a sequence, a sequence where what we are doing to find each term is adding a given number. This is what tells us that this is an arithmetic sequence, an arithmetic an arithmetic sequence, because we're adding 3,000. In general, we can say that arithmetic sequences have the form that first defines the first term, which is a sub 1. Then, once that first term is defined, you have to generate the nth term by using the previous term and simply adding d, some constant. All that you do is add that constant difference, d, each time. Let's take a look at an example of an arithmetic sequence. Let's describe the sequence where the first term is 500, and each term thereafter is generated by taking the previous term and adding 30. We want to describe that sequence in words, then write the first five terms.
Since we're noticing that each term after the first is generated by taking the previous term and then adding 30, we know that this is an arithmetic sequence. It's an arithmetic sequence because we're simply adding each time. It's an, arith an arithmetic sequence whose first term is 500 and where we add 30 each time. So that's how we could describe this in words. We could say this is an arithmetic sequence with a first term of 500 and whose constant difference is 30. This is how we would describe that sequence in words. And now we need to find the first five terms. This is how we will do that. The first five terms are a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. We begin by generating the first term, which is easy to find. It's given to us. The first term is 500. The second term, a sub 2, can be found using this formula. In this case, we just replaced the n with a 2, so it's going to be a sub n minus 1, but if n is 2, it's going to be a sub 2 minus 1. Then we add 30 to find the second term. This subscript says a sub 2 minus 1, which is simply a sub 1. So we find that a sub 2 can be found by adding a sub 1 with 30. In other words, the term that comes before a sub 2, the previous term. a sub 1 equals 500. We find that over here. So we substitute in 500 for a sub 1, and we find that a sub 2 equals 500 plus 30. And 500 plus 30 is 530. So the second term is 530. The third term is going to be found by taking the previous term and adding 30 again. I'm going to skip some of these steps, and I'm just going to take the previous term, 530, and add 30 to give me that a sub 3 should equal 560. To find a sub 4, I'll take the previous term, which was 560, and add 30. So a sub 4 is 590. And to find a sub 5, I'll take the previous term, which was 590 and add 30, leaving me with a sub 5 equals 620. So I found the first five terms in the sequence, which is what I was asked to do. So the first five terms are 500, 530, 560, 590, and 620. This is an arithmetic sequence because each term is found by adding 30 to each previous term.